In this video, I'm going to show how you can use Stroke to help in the designing of files. These three different looks are all achieved from the one design. By altering the Stroke, you can get different looks. Same with the zigzags. I drew one zigzag line and I can get three different looks. The ellipses and spirals are easy to change. And here, I drew one rectangle and just by changing the Stroke, I get three different looks. As you can see, the corners are different on each one. Over here I've still got the original zigzag and series of straight lines. All I used was the Bezier tool and I drew a series of lines. I'll just click on the zigzag lines and look in the lower left. You can see there's no fill and it's stroke. And as I want to work on the stroke to change the look, I'll just click on the black here and it will open fill and stroke straight on stroke paint, which is where I can change the color. At this moment, I just want to change the style. So I'll just click on the tab, for stroke style, and this is where I'll be doing all the changes. For the first one, it's width. At the moment, it's set on inches. I just like to change it to PX, which is pixels. So when I do change the width, the increments are small and I do have more control. Of course, that's my choice. You might prefer to work in a different measurement. I'll just zoom in. These are the joins. At the moment it's on square and I can tell because this box is shaded blue. Then if I click on round, it rounds off. And then I've also got the option of bevel and I get a beveled look. So this one I just might leave it round. Then the next decision is the end caps. As you can see at the moment, this is actually a little bit shorter than the rest. If I click on the end one, which is square cap, see how that lengthened? But I have these round and I would like this to be round. So if I click on the central one, it rounds off. So I'll just duplicate this now. And we'll have a different look on this one. Might have it square. We'll duplicate it again. And this one I might make beveled. So from using the Bezier tool to draw a zigzag line, I can have three totally different looks. If I look down here at the lower left, these are still stroke and I need to change them before I can cut. So what I have to do is go path, stroke to path. If you zoom in, you can now see I've got nodes on both sides. I can now cut that out. Of course, I don't have to come to each one individually. I can just select them all and go path, stroke to path do the same with the next one. I'll just do this one very quickly. So I'll just make it a bit thicker. Just zoom in closer. So I might make it round. Pick a round cap. We'll have a look at the end. It's nice and round. Can duplicate it and push it out the way. And of course I can come and pick a beveled corner with a different cap for another look. And I can duplicate it and have a square look. Then when you're finished, just select them, go path, stroke to path. Now you've got another set of files for cutting. The stroke can also still be used on other shapes. I'll start by drawing an ellipse. Now looking down here, it's got fill and it's got stroke. While the fill and stroke still open, I'll just come to the fill tab and click on the cross the fills disappeared. Then I can come to stroke style and change the width. I don't have to worry about join or cap this time. I don't have a starting point or an ending point and I don't have any corners. And as this is still an ellipse, I can actually still come in and edit it. So if I want to open it up, I can. So this will still act and work like an ellipse up until the point I go path, stroke to path. So now I do have caps. And if I was designing this, I really wouldn't want this cut off look. I can just come to round and I get a nice round look. Then when I'm finished, I just go path, stroke to path. I'll just show you, we've got the nodes around the perimeter. Delete that. For the next example, I'm just going to draw a spiral. I'm just going to click on the stroke color here to open stroke and then come to style 
might make it a little bit thicker. Once again, I've got no joins, but I do have the cap. This is where I like using stroke. I can change the cap to round and get this nice look. And then when I go path, stroke to path, that will cut out a nice spiral. The last example, I'll draw a rectangle. As you can see, as I drew it, because I turned fill off before, fill is still off. So we'll just come up to the corner. At the moment, this box is blue, so I know it's beveled. I can choose rounded, or I can choose square. So I might leave it on beveled. And if I don't want it that thick, I can just come and make it thinner by changing the width. When I'm happy with it, just go path, stroke to path. As you can see, stroke can help design some files. I use it quite often when I'm drawing lines like this because I can just draw one zigzag line and get three total different looks. If you'd like to see creating files for your cutter, visit my blog at cuttingtime.blogspot.com. Thank you.